Jiang Wei had decided to set out on an eighth northern campaign. His objective this time was not Mount Qi, which Zhuge Liang had tried to capture a total of six times before, but rather Tao Yong. He was looking to fool Deng Ai of Wei, who was in charge of defending Mount Qi. As a result, there were no Wei troops to be found at Tao Yong Castle. This time, he would be victorious over Wei and realize the dreams of those that came before him. With the Shu vanguard full of enthusiasm, Xiao Ba alone had his doubts. For he was not convinced that the veteran warrior Deng Ai would allow them to take this position so easily. That he would simply leave the castle gates open with nobody inside. As he looked at this seemingly easy target, Xiao Ba could not help but imagine that they were walking into a trap. Attacking an empty castle is easy. That is, if there really are no people inside it. This is Dung Ai we're talking about. He's gotta be up to something. Some people you can just tell they come from a noble family, can't you? You don't suppose the enemies just run in fear of us? I remember when Shah Ba first came across to us from Wei. A lot of our men didn't trust him at first. But he earned their trust by defeating a string of famous Wei officers, right? Did you know some officers in our army have been with us since the Yellow Turban Rebellion? I've checked the area. There's no need for any assistance here. I just hope Shah Ba doesn't feel bad about fighting against his homeland. Keep your voice down. We don't need to sow any more seeds of distrust around here. Not a soul in sight. I had heard the enemy commander was a man of great acumen. It's hard to believe he'd forget to guard the castle. There's something creepy about an empty castle. Maybe I should get myself a better helmet. I want to look more charismatic when I take it off and shake out my hair. Hey there, it's me. It's really quiet here, isn't it? Am I the only one who thinks it's a little too quiet? Hey, is anyone here? I know, I know, they wouldn't answer even if they were here. This is our eighth venture north. I don't know why we keep trying. The Wei troops all fled in terror from us. They were scared of Lord Jiang Wei and his mighty army. How can you just abandon a castle like that? What a bunch of cowards. I saw Lord Zhang Wei and Lord Zhao Ba training the other day. They really are good friends, aren't they? Hey, there's something strange about this castle. Where are all the people? Tao Yang has always been sparsely defended. Besides, the Wei forces are focused on defending Mount Qi, so they are unable to spare any extra men for the defenses here. Hmm. I wonder if that's really what's going on here. The troops that were here probably fled. They wouldn't stay if they knew help wouldn't be arriving. But Deng Ai is leading the enemy forces at Mount Qi. I've got a bad feeling about this. I'm gonna go have a look around. I'll be back later. Something fishy about this castle. I think it's been emptied on purpose. Your insight isn't bad. For a traitor, a shame you realized it too late. 
Aha! I knew it! Okay. Stay calm. Make my way outside to where my friends are. Looks like this is one of those life and death situations. I'm sure my old man would just laugh it off, though. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. I shall return! Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! my record as well as my pride. Next time, I will not be so lenient on you. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Hey, isn't this a juggernaut? No, wait, it's not. It certainly looks like one. Go and ride that thing, will ya? It might actually be useful. Easier to take it rather than break it. What? A dog that spits fire? I've never heard of such a thing. I grow tired of your We should be able to stop those dogs with the ballista. Can you help out with that? To retreat is not necessarily to lose. traps and escape. I would not expect anything less of Xiaohu Yuan's son. Hey, don't say my father's name so casually. I've still got issues about that. 
That is enough for one day. I shall retreat for now, but I will return. Looks like I survived. I suppose this means I can continue to enjoy my freedom. it? No, no, no. From what I've seen so far, it must be a trap. We shall avenge Lord Guo Huai! <laughs> Sorry, son. What's that? I can't hear you. It hurts, father. It is nice that you two get along so well. <laughs> This is the price of living free. Very well. <laughs> to die on the battlefield is quite the honor. Let you die on me. If there's anything you want, you take it through battle. Got that? <laughs> <laughs>